Hi everyone, welcome to my home studio. I'm Biddy and I'm really happy that you have made your way here. Today is a request. I got a request if we could do something focusing on the upper back and the neck. So here is a short and sweet flow that you can do anywhere during your day where you feel like you are tensing up. Of course, this is also a perfect um, practice to do if you drive a lot, if you are on your bike a lot, anything that has you using your arms in forward motion a lot that can bring tightness to the upper back and neck. So take a moment to get situated. You don't need much if you have a yoga mat. Perfect. If you don't, the floor is fine too. Make sure that you have space to move. And we'll start by grounding our feet, making sure that both feet are carrying equal amounts of weight so even though this is comfy sometimes or even relaxed try to find nice straight hips both feet are carrying equal weight relax your kneecaps and then we'll start by letting the hands just shake a little bit down here allowing the arms to shake and just if you can notice your shoulders notice how it feels in the shoulders here so this can already point out a lot of tightness sometimes so just giving a soft shake make sure that there's nothing near you that you can hurt your hands on and then we'll slowly start shaking just the hands and then start bringing the hands slowly up towards the ceiling just creating a little bit of movement here as we go in and out up and down just one more time taking an inhale as the hands shake all the way up exhaling as the hands come back down good now let them rest allow the hands to be heavy the fingers to soften so don't need to stretch them but really soften them and if you can close your eyes for a moment bring all your attention to the feeling in your hands and arms right now so for me I don't know how this feels for you but I can feel a little bit of tingling going on and you can tell that you started waking up something and then we'll slowly start bringing the attention up towards your shoulders. And we'll start by just bringing the shoulders gently up towards your ears. As you exhale, just release them in one breath. <sighs> Inhaling, gently pulling them up, allow the shoulder blades to crawl up as well. Exhaling, <sighs> release. One more time. Inhaling, <sighs> exhaling, <sighs> perfect. And we'll start making our circles coming forward and up and back and down now this is a really nice move to couple with the breath so as you inhale roll the shoulders forward and up as you exhale roll them back and down if you can just notice everything happening in your upper back as you make this move notice the shoulder blades are moving on your back notice how it feels in your neck as you make this move and then gently just do one or two more rounds next time the shoulders go back and down we allow them to rest taking a moment to consciously relax your fingers still and then as we inhale start lengthening your spine and then gently tuck your chin it's a very small move bringing your chin just a little bit closer towards your chest area creating that little bit of extra length in your neck taking a deep breath in exhaling then slowly bow your head all the way chin coming all the way down to your chest but keep the length in your spine here allowing one more deep breath in here exhaling soften your shoulders and then we roll right ear towards your right shoulder just allowing heaviness on the both arms as I get the hair out of my face but just allow the shoulders to soften here sometimes we tend to do this but there's no need for that one more deep inhale here exhaling chin comes back to center and then we all go all the way to the other side noticing the difference between left and right again allowing both shoulders to be soft here also your belly is soft deep inhale exhaling chin comes back down towards your chest and then we slowly slowly start lifting the chin up first we look straight forward and then see how it feels as you start lifting your chin up more and more and your gaze goes towards the ceiling you allow the head to be heavy here getting a nice stretch in your throat area 
and then gently rock it left and right. Small move. Noticing any spots that might be sore or stiff. And then coming back to center first and then gently bring your gaze forward again. Beautiful. Now we're going to interlace our fingers behind our head, just allowing a little bit of pressure. So you really cup the hands and then you gently push your, the back of your head into your hands and your hands give equal pressure back. So elbows stay wide, shoulders are activating here, finding that little bit of pressure, keeping the pressure as much as stable as much as you can. I zoned out there. Taking a deep breath in, notice that your shoulder blades and shoulders are working here too. One more deep inhale. Exhaling, gently start releasing the pressure. Beautiful. Now very gently, without any pressure from your hands, you start bowing your head again, chin down towards your chest, and then you just allow the hands to rest here. No need to apply extra pressure, just trust that the weight of your hands and the weight of your arms are going to increase the stretch. You can allow the shoulders to soften here and maybe you notice it as well that the elbows gently start coming closer to your head. Now keeping the length in your spine really allow the head to be heavy. Taking one more deep breath in. Exhaling everything out. Now gentle pressure applied with the hands, really gentle as you start pushing the back of your head against your hands. Now the head will win and the head will slowly come up but we keep a little bit of pressure here. Taking one more deep breath in as we widen the elbows open. Exhaling, soften and release the hands. Now take a moment here to release any tension from the hands. Maybe give a soft shake. Relax your shoulders, maybe even a soft shake there. Just notice how your neck is feeling. Maybe give a soft movement of the head, left and right. And then we'll start bringing a little bit more attention to the shoulders. So we'll stretch both arms forward, palms are facing down, spreading the fingers a little bit wider. Now as you do this, bring your attention to your shoulder blades, slowly, slowly, slowly curl them a little bit, crawl them a little bit closer together. So as you're here, you reach as far as you can, and then you start bringing the shoulder blades closer towards each other, towards your spine. Beautiful. Now we're just going to flip the palms open up towards the ceiling. Keeping the shoulders steady as they are, just find this small motion. Palms down, palms up, palms down, and then one last time, palms face up. Beautiful. Taking a deep breath in here. Exhaling, allow the hands to rest again. Maybe a soft shake if it feels right. And then one last big, big stretch for the shoulders and the upper back. We'll once again bring the hands straight forward, shoulder height, spread your fingers, reach the arms as far away as you can first, creating a lot of space on your back. Take a deep breath in to increase that stretch. Exhaling, gently start pulling the shoulder blades back. Beautiful. We'll start with the right hand underneath the left. We'll cross the arms. We're going to come into our eagle arms. So we'll start bending the elbows. And you see where you end up. Sometimes this is the amount of space that you have. Some people might hook the fingers. Sometimes you bring the palms. So you take a moment to find the comfortable spot for you here. Taking a deep and slow breath in, filling your chest with fresh new air. Exhaling slowly everything out. As you start breathing in again, start lifting the elbows up just a little bit higher. Exhaling, soften your gaze. One more deep breath in here. Exhaling slowly, unwind your arms, let the arms be heavy. Give a soft shake, relax your face. We'll do it one more time, and this time I'll give you the side angle view. So we're going to stretch the arms forward, palms face down, and then first we'll reach as far as we can, taking a deep breath in. As we exhale, we'll start pulling the shoulder blades together. Beautiful. Now the left hand goes underneath the right as we bend the elbows. 
Notice the difference. This side may give you more space. Sometimes this side gives you less space. So you see how it feels. So maybe you bring the fingers together. Maybe you bring the palms together. Or maybe you keep them at a nice distance if that feels right for you. And then just focus on the shoulder blades first, allowing your next inhale to really allow your chest area to expand. Exhaling everything out, softening the face. And on your next inhale, if there is space, lift the elbows a little bit higher. We'll keep our gaze straight forward because we want to relax the neck here. We just want to find that stretch between the shoulder blades. So another deep inhale, feel the stretch on your back. Exhaling gently, unwind the arms, allow the hands to be heavy, maybe give a soft shake. Beautiful. And then we'll just make one last move. We'll start bringing the hands forward, slowly bringing them all the way up towards the ceiling. And then use your right hand to grab your left wrist. First, pull it up towards the ceiling, and then slowly find that nice side stretch. You go as far as is comfortable for you. Keep the hips where they are. It's just the upper body that's finding the movement. So taking another deep breath in. Exhaling, coming back up. We'll reach both hands up first. Exhaling, relaxing the shoulder blades down. We'll switch. Left hand grabs the right wrist, lifting it up towards the ceiling. Slowly, slowly, the hips stay still. You find that nice side stretch here. Relax your face. Create a little bit of space between the arms and the head. So don't do this, but give yourself some room. One more deep breath in here. Exhaling, bringing both hands back up. And this time we'll reach as high as you can, stretching the fingers up. And bringing the palms together and in front of your heart. So hopefully this helped your neck, your shoulders to soften and stretch a little bit. And you are good to go with on, and you're good to go on with the rest of your day. So from my home to yours, I hope you have a wonderful day or evening. And let's bow, we'll bring our thumbs to the forehead, taking a deep breath in, exhaling, namaste.